Alright, this video is being made for Mike Volks Tuning. Um, he sells headlights and headlight lenses. Really good stuff. This is an old headlight of mine. It's new lenses. Just got this from Mike. Only took a few days in the mail. It's a new glass lens that's not going to fade in the sun or turn yellow. And it's going to look a lot better. So the first step would be to clean the headlight the back area just so you don't contaminate the inside. I've already done that. Next you need to pop off the tabs that hold the lens. You're going to want to save these. When you've got all the tabs off, the next step is to heat up the headlight. It has a sealant on it that is temperature sensitive. It holds like cement until you get it warm and then it will start to pry loose. So if you can get your wife to go to the grocery store, uh, do that and then go borrow her hair dryer. Or um, get a heat gun. I prefer the hair dryer, but my wife's shooting this video. so. No go there. The idea is to warm this up fairly evenly. You don't want to melt the plastic, but you want to get the whole thing pretty good and hot that as hot as your hands can handle it. And it's going to take a few minutes to do that. You probably won't be able to do the whole thing at one time. You may just want to start in one corner. That's what I'm going to do. Now the trick to this is going to be to start in one corner and get that loose and then start working it around and you're not going to just get it loose quickly you just kind of got to pry slowly now that I've got that pretty hot go ahead and flip around over here See, it's just now starting to come loose. Gonna heat it up some more. See, it's just now starting to come. It's really, really gummy. Nice and slow. And be careful with your chrome, because that stuff comes off real easy. Alright, this is garbage. You don't want to get this stuff too hot, but you want to warm up all of this area right in here. Let's see how it's getting gooey. This stuff was rock hard a few degrees ago. What we're going to do is heat it up and we're going to pull it all out. I 
gotta go get a rag. I should have had one here. And you can even just use a bubble wrap. See, it comes out pretty easy, but then it gets tough back here because it's not up to temperature. So we're we'll back to heating this up. You should only get one side of this hot at a time. These retainer clips right here, they're going to hold the position of the headlight and the frame. If you do the whole thing at one time, you're going to start shifting that and uh, it's not going to be good. So just do one half at a time, cool the other side down. It's only been a few minutes, I've already got this one done. And you're not going to believe how much better this thing looks with the new. Awesome. You don't have to go crazy getting it all out. Most of it will be fine. That's about all I'm going to do. If you have any dirt inside your headlight, now would be a good time to clean it out. I'm going to try an air hose first. If that doesn't work, I'm going to use a lint-free cloth and some Windex. And uh, now that I'm looking at it, I see that part of my headlight isn't right. See what I can do about that. Now, I just touched the outer chrome right here. It literally, just that little touch, took that off. This is really fragile stuff. It'll stay there if you don't touch it, but if you touch it, it's going to come off. So the air hose is probably the best thing you can do inside of here. All right, what I found out with the bulb being out of place was it was actually just not in right in the back. All I had to do was loosen the mounts and fix that. So everything's fine with that. Uh, let the headlight cool down, and then you're going to be putting new RTV silicone to hold the glass lens on. Okay. Alright, I took an air hose and I blew out all the dust on the inside. 
and I tried to wipe it down a little bit and that was a bad idea. The few places that I tested it on, the chrome just comes right off. So learn from me, don't do that. I'm putting the tape on because when we put the silicone on, I'm not the best person with silicone and I prefer just to throw on too much, wipe it down, have the excess on the tape and just pull a strip of tape off with the extra silicone and be done with it. So that's that. Pull it back from the edges that went too far. had these on my other golf for a few weeks and I couldn't be happier with them. The regular beams are brighter than my high beams used to be. And the difference is just night and day. I can buy cheap headlight bulbs now and they're brighter than the $50 set bulbs that I was getting. taping. You don't have to do this, but I think it's the best way. Thanks for easy cleanup. Now, when you're done, look through it. Make sure you don't have any big smudge prints on the inside. I was wearing gloves earlier, so I kept my hands pretty clean. This is the silicone that I'm using. Um, I highly recommend you don't use the little squeeze tubes. It'll be enough if you get one of the squeeze tubes, but it is such a pain in the butt. Um, get one of these. It'll cost you a few bucks more, but it's worth it. So, just go ahead and start filling it in. Like I said, I got these lenses from Mike at Volks Tuning, but in case I do something wrong and causes you to mess up your lenses, I want to mention that he didn't ask me to do this and he hasn't paid for it and he isn't going to pay for it. Uh, this is just a, what I thought would be a helpful, helpful video to some of you guys out there. I'm going to smooth it out. some excess, not too bad. Just go around and smooth it out. Definitely want to wear gloves for this. I've got a little bit too much in there right now. Just a long smooth streak would be good. Like that. Just in case you've got any on your gloves, go ahead and take them off. Put a fresh pair on. When you have a fresh pair of gloves on, get your lens. Set it down carefully over just found out these lenses are not the same for both sides so test fit them before you put the silicone on squeeze it together 
I'm just going to change it. Right. Go ahead and go around, clean up your excess with a rag. Wouldn't be a terrible idea to do newspaper or something like that all the way across this, but it'll clean up easy if you get anything on the lens. Alright, now that I did that, go ahead and pull it off. perfectly silicone headlight. All we gotta do is throw on the retaining clips. This is the the uh, redone headlight. This is the old headlight. Uh, I think it speaks volumes. Good to go. Let this. If you have time, go ahead and let this dry for a couple hours before you put it out back on your car. Or if you do put it back on your car now, just don't go take a drive. Let it sit for a couple hours. Cure. It's worth the wait.